Hey, this is 3D Beast, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to put holes through a cube the easy way. So, first thing you want to do is click Add, then go down to Mesh and Add a Cube. This is what you're going to be putting a hole through. It doesn't matter if it's a cube or a sphere or whatever, as long as you can get a hole through it. So, now once you get that done, add, uh, click Add, Mesh, Cylinder. Now, don't click anything once that's done. Okay. Uh, if you didn't click anything, it should work. So now click T. Down here, it will say add cylinder and vertices. It should say 32. Mine says 128 because I already did this. But click where it says 32 and change it to 128 so that it's high definition cylinder. So now if I click Z, you can see that it has a lot more angles so it will be smoother. Okay, so now that you get that done, uh, click S. To scale it down to the size that you want to go through and click Z so that you can see through it to see where it is. So that's a little um, too much and not enough space between this and there so I'm going to scale it down a bit more. Then once you get that done and you get it the size you want it, click S, Z to scale it on the Z axis and just make it long enough to go through the cube all the way. So with that cylinder still selected, click Tab. Go to front view by clicking 1, then click Shift D to duplicate the cylinder, R to rotate it, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. And there you go. Okay, so now with this cylinder still collected, shift, uh, click Shift D, right click, and then click P. And over here it says separate, then do separate by selection, so click the first one. And now you have the cylinder as a whole different object. So select the new cylinder object and go to top view by clicking 7. Then click R to rotate it 90 degrees to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. So there you go. You have your setup there with the cubes. And now you have to select one of your cylinders and click N. And then over here it says say item and that's the name. You gotta remember what your thing's called. So this is called cylinder then this is called cylinder point zero zero one and you gotta remember that for the next step okay so you can click end to hide the menu again now click on your cube go to add modifiers and boolean so now this is um... you gotta go to object right here and click it then choose the cylinder that's yours so my, i'm gonna do cylinder just plain cylinder first then as you can see, the cube sort of fused with this, but don't worry, that's supposed to happen. Just go over here to Operations where it says Intersect, click it, and change it to Difference. Now click Apply. And you can delete your cylinders that you just did. You can delete your first cylinder. And there you go, you have a hole through it. Okay, so now go back to your cube um, and click Tab. Then click A to select everything and W to pop open this menu, then click remove doubles. And what this does is takes out any extra vertices that you don't need that just take up space for no reason. And I just took out 719 vertices, so that was pretty good. Now, uh, you go back to this, and in ob object mode, select your cube again. You want to add modifiers, boolean, and select your second cylinder. So, now it fuses to the cube again, click um, intersect, they make a difference and then apply. Then you can delete this cylinder and there you go, you have cube with holes through it. Now if it's still lagging out a little bit, click tab A to select everything W and remove doubles again and it will lag a lot less. So that's pretty much it, so bye.